Well, good morning, campers. You guys took a break, pretty much. Uh, Tommen, what was your store's name? My store's name? You never, um, t- you never told us. You didn't um, tell it in the recording. The name of my store. Uh, the Black Lumber. Okay. The Black Lumber. Well, let me write Black that. Black Lumber Supply. Down. Oh, that's going to be a confusing name. At the very beginning, it's going to be like, <laughs> breaking news, yeah, the Black Lumber not Supply the one. is... You're not the one that actually has to remember it in future campaign. Sir Hellbeard. Alright. Sir Hellbeard. Black Lumber it is. Black Lumber. <laughs> you guys are now looking for... Uh, Frederick has now asked you guys to find Coltis. Um, and now it's about almost midnight... Someone's told you that cultists don't usually do it at ni- uh, midnight because there are too many guards. They usually do it during the day. Well, there's more guards at midnight than there are in the day. Not much. Yeah, because they've been starting fires at night, and it's really easy to see the mm-hmm. fires at night. It's hard to tell in midday. Okay. You wrote this down, Luther, by the way. <laughs> you wrote this down. He would have wrote it down in his journal, I assume, is what he meant. Oh. Uh, because you guys just got that information. And now you guys are heading to the Counts, uh, the God Seats. You have now passed the second wall. You actually see paved streets, which is very, un- uh, very not really necessary in this type of world. But you know about them. So the third of all, is our environment a little bit nicer? Is it still dreary and oh, depressing? It's... No, the first wall was actually a yeah, lot less dreary nice. than anywhere else you've been. This wall actually looks uh, would be your definition as perfect. Amen, Luther. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It doesn't have enough rotting corpses or anything in it. But, there, but there's grass that's not, enough... not all dead. Not enough vampires to stab. Yeah. This place is too clean. <laughs> the, there's a tree. Look. There, there are like trees. multiple trees. There's flower like patches. Like if you're going through the temple, you know those flower things. That's where. Like... Yeah. Yeah. The thing I first saw like yesterday or sorry, today. Yeah. I lost my mind when I saw that. So it looks beautiful. There are, like, wooden uh, houses, weirdly enough, Tom and and Luther. There are wooden houses houses on these trees, like little wooden houses, and you don't know what they're about. And trees, yes. Weird. Or on trees, hanging from trees, depending. Luther, why are there there forts in these trees? Kate, you know what it is. So wait, I'm saying nothing because I'm giddily skipping along towards the gut seats. Fair enough. They're just following Kate. This place is weird. Suddenly! Order. Well, uh, Kate is obviously on in front. Did you say suddenly murder? So, uh, no, I, yes. Luther, you're dead. I'm sorry. Alright, see you guys. Uh... <laughs> What Suddenly, uh, running through the street, someone crashes into Luther. This is like the and second time I've been assaulted. What looked to be, uh, uh, what looked to be, uh, scrolls on the ground. Oh, I'm so sorry," says the boy that has spilled all the scrolls. How old is this boy? Is a little boy? Yeah, oh, he's boy. about. he's about twelve years old. Careful. Not too little. Yeah, I guess. They're like, oh, don't worry about it. I'm going to start helping him, but I'm going to keep an eye on him just in case he tries to pick my pockets or something. An old man comes up. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry about my apprentice. He um, uh, uh, bows to you. An apology. I give him a nod. Yes. One of the scrolls have come loose. It's none of my business. I hand it to him. Tom and you're right by him. Are you helping him or? I'm I'm kind of amazed by the scenery instead of like what's watching, instead of watching Luther and all of his mistakes. I'm looking at the at the greenery. Hey, I'm not making no mistakes. 
you, someone ran into you and you unwound a scroll. I, I kept um, you there. Uh, I didn't can I ask you, Luther, before we continue? Uh, where do you have the pendant? Or, uh, do you have the seal in your pocket or around your neck or what? Seal? Yeah, the um, yeah the holy light symbol. Holy oh. horse symbol. Which one? I have two of them. You have four different symbols. Well, are, where are they? Are any um, of them displayed? He keeps one. He keeps his classic, like, iron one in his... Not iron. It wouldn't be made of iron. His, like, wooden one in his, like, coat. And he keeps the really nice one in his bag. He doesn't notice. Okay. He cleans up the thing. Uh, They grab the scrolls. They nod to you and say, farewell. Have a nice day. You too. Don't yeah. keep, keep an eye on where you're going, he says, and gives the kid. I'm sorry. Eye. Don't worry about it. And it's at this point you realize Kate and your map are gone because she didn't see any of that. God damn it. Can I percept to where she is? Give me a roll. Yeah, you see a little. Uh, you see a girl skipping down the road. Yep, I. Oh, is Tom a little ways still... farther away. Is Tom I'm with her? Nature. Watch as just with you stopped. Oh, uh, Tomlin's with me. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you. Uh, let's go, Tom. And I say as I, I kind of pat his shoulder to get his attention and then point to where Kate is, and I kind of jog after her. Oh, I, is there a flower near me? There's no fire. Um, I'm taking off. Yes. Oh, uh, no, there's not. Um, okay. It's a pretty big boardwalk. You start to get into a little uh, packed city. It looks like fi um, finishing shoppers. And uh, stalls are closing down, but they're still shopping with uh, lanterns on it. Hmm. Kate, have they caught up? Uh, Luther, did you wanted to catch up to Kate? or? Yeah, I was catching up. Okay, you guys are all together. Katie, did you see the flowers? What? Bunch of flowers every trees. I know. We 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 addressed this yesterday. Sorry, earlier today. He's asking Kate. Oh, I didn't uh, hear that. He said, "Kate, you see all the flowers." I didn't hear that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the flowers—they look great. But I'm so excited to see these cut seats. What are those? They're the seats that the, the gods have sat in themselves. We already explained this last time, Brody. <laughs> this is Tom when we're talking about. <laughs> this could very well be in character. Fair enough. You don't know that, do you? <laughs> Am I Tom in right now? Of course not. <gasps> yes, I have. It was Terry the whole time. Who was <laughs> this? <laughs> How did you find my number? But no, but how do gods sit in seats? Are they up in heaven? The gods can pretty much be wherever they need to be. What are the seats made out of? That's why I want to go look. They made of gems? That would be interesting, but I, I would doubt it. Ooh, Seems maybe they're made out expensive. of... As as thinking about this now, my mind's just starting to ramble on like all the odd things that they're made of. Maybe they're made out of hay. Maybe they're made out of... Why would they make them out of hay? I don't know. Why would the gods go and do something as they do now? For... I mean... What if it's made out of octopi? Tom, it's yeah. octopi. At this point, Kate's not listening. What they would go made... bad in the sun, Tommen! But they're gods. They make the fish stay fresh all day. Suddenly... They're not I'm always sorry, on this... I'm sorry, Luther. A man grabs you from behind. Every single time! <laughs> Only Luther. Arius, where have... Uh, he uh, turns you around. Uh, Arius, where have you... He looks at you. Yeah, I'm Strangely, not Arius. He is a blue-eyed man with reddish-brown hair. I, I stare at him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not Arius. Leave I'm sorry. Alone, please. Don't worry about it. Just uh. as he turns around, as he turns around, you guys see a shield on his back. Kate, uh, Tom, and you've seen this shield, but uh -huh. it was broken last time. 
Am I eating something? No. Not. I still make the <laughs> sound. <laughs> I think Kate is very impressed. Uh, not very impressed, but more like a like a oh, wandering. There's a there's there's uh like a priest of this of this god again. That's amazing. To the god seats. Yep. I have no idea who that guy is or what you guys are talking about. Maybe they're made out of gems. <laughs> oh, uh, Luther, Luther, you see his shield. It is of the bonfire kind of uh, the fire uh, fire thunder god. Mm -hmm. Luther doesn't know much about that one. Uh, you haven't really seen shields or artwork on it. It looks pretty fancy for just a, a god that hasn't really displayed all that much. Yeah, Luther is just kind of meh. Okay. All right, you get past the second wall without any trial or error. Um. Uh, you uh, yeah, you get through the uh, now you're at the third, and you can see the lights. Uh, as soon as you enter through the third on your right hand side, there would be a long path that uh that doesn't go towards the other town. It'd be kind of in a like some uh of the next wall, but it doesn't look like many people go that path because they're the god seats. Well, many people do. It's just it's not like super busy right now. What's the and god you start seats? guys start heading up. Yep. You get to it, and uh, you see a. Uh, man at the gate, and he looks like he's about. Uh, he looks like he's uh, uh, locking up. Since I imagine Kate's in the front, I imagine she'll take point. Mm -hmm. Yep. He locks up with an iron, uh, like uh, an iron chain, one of the doors, and he looks at you. Sorry, people, you got Kate. Is that you? I recognize this man. Give me a roll. History. Oh, God, no. Can I roll for history? Oh. Oh, dang. Nice. This is uh, Spencer, one of uh, uh, Peter's old friends that comes to visit. Spencer, it's good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you. How's the how's the old man? Oh, he's doing all right. He, he went up to... Uh... Uh, he he's traveling right now. Oh, I see. Well, what are you guys do? What are you doing here with these? He looks at the two people. Oh, we were coming people. to see the god seats. These are uh, uh, for you, Kate. I'll let you in. I, and these are uh, some of my, a couple of my companions. We've we've been traveling together. Uh, all right. He on uh, he leaves the last door open. Uh, not uh, iron chaining it. There are some uh, priests that are just standing there. They look like they're guarding it. And he uh, um, welcomes you in. Thank you very much. May the horse be with you. <laughs> uh, no, I'm actually going to not do that. I'm going to say... Yeah. Hoof, clop, clop. <laughs> so I just say well, whatever the common uh, greeting slash aloha. Thing. In case uh, Luther nods to him as, as they walk by, it's kind of like friendly. Like he shows you to another. Uh, uh, it looks like a big hall with paintings of old priests and whatnot. And then he open um, unlocks the door to the room where the seats. I'll be out here. You just come and get me when you guys are done. Thank, Again, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Anything for you uh, for uh, Peter's daughter. Anything for you, Kate. That's what I meant. I give him kind of like an awkward smile. Thanks. Uh... <laughs> they just kind of shrugs. All right. So as um, as you enter, it is a marble studded floor. Been cracked a little bit from wear and tear, but you see three seats. One has been broken. You can't really make the shape of it now. Another has the symbol of the shield you just saw. And it looks like it's just a plain uh, marble seat. 
but the middle one with horse um horse wheels on the sides and uh what look it actually lights weirdly in the room there's also written on it something but only one person here can read it Tommen. i knew it Tommen, you read it? it reads if thou seekest the gods seat say that hmm. one more time if thou seekest the gods ju- um simply touch my seat and this is written in abyssal you guys don't know that Tama doesn't even know what he, if he can read it or not huh all right metagaming stop it i was i was asking for my own interest not hers <laughs> it does seem weird that they'd write it in abyssal look I, just a... aren't they beautiful these are weird chairs they're that for gods and she punches him in the shoulder <laughs> he, he winces one of the seats is broken so yeah, he, Luther's pointing at that one, saying, that one isn't even a chair. <laughs> Kate glowers at him. Show I'm specs. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She goes and kneels in front of the, the holy horse one and starts praying. Broken chair, but... Tom, I'm just going to draw heap. Yes. You have a feeling you want to touch that chair. Hmm. Something is nagging you to touch it. Are the words glowing at all? Touch my seat. Touch oh, yes, they're seat. glowing. Oh, then I draw alarm to that. Like, guys, why is the chair glowing? Huh? We all it's see it. Glowing, light. Right? Yeah. It is glowing. He's the horse of but light. Something, I mean... something is just nagging you to touch it. What is it, taking? If you seek the gods, the touch gods. my seat. Touch my seat, yeah. I'm going to assume that touching it is actually banned, right? Yeah. Well, no one's actually... Uh, people, uh, legends have come up, but Tommen doesn't know them. You know this, Kate, that if anyone touches the god seat, they would be killed. They die. Okay. Yes. Oh, so we shouldn't touch them. You seek the gods but, Tommen, you don't chair. know that. And I start idling towards the chair, then. I imagine Kate would know that, though, right? Uh, as as I do that, I say, if you seek the gods, touch. Uh, Kate will stop her prayer and look up at him. What? Okay, a few seconds have passed. What are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> who who are you addressing? What? Are you touching the chair, Tommen, or not? I'm like walking towards you, the chair. How big is the room? You are by the chair. If you're looking at, uh, you said you were by Kate. Kate just kneeled in front of it. Yeah, Tommen. Tommen said he was gonna. It's s- actually a little bit bigger than you. Okay, Hello. So this... Hello. Yeah, it's bigger than me. Yeah. Okay, they're gonna go and like reach out and touch touch that. Do you wanna like see if you know what? Oh, I'm gonna do this because I'm having a dilemma. You touch the chair. Okay. Do I do I notice he's reaching for the chair or am I too busy with my prayer? Ooh, you should notice that. You're too busy with your prayer. Yeah. Luther. I, I you, do you wanna that. see this? I'll I'll roll to see if I notice him. Are you the, actually yeah. paying attention? Well, I am apparently. Perception. <laughs> And you see him touch it. You see him touch it, full on touch it. And in my head, I'm thinking, why is he touching that chair? Because I don't know anything about the chair. <laughs> why is he touching the chair? Wait, you see something click in, uh, uh, something is happening to the chair, and you immediately tackle him after he's touched the chair. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what came um, over me. Suddenly, the, ch- uh, the chair changes, it disappears. Tommen, what did you do? What did you guys do? And I you, didn't do anything. Guys, just a just staircase just... that leads down. Oh, God. 
What is that? Le what? Luther just kind of like stands up and just kind of like points to Tom and like just gestures to him like it's all him. Is like, he gets to explain it? Is this something Sp Spencer would know about? Is this something he something he did? I don't. Do you think we know? <laughs> I've never been here before. Kate, I'm freaking out. Luther, help me. What? I. D I need to get that chair back. You. I look down the stairs. What's down the stairs? It goes down. You can't see the bottom. Is it just straight or like spiral or what? It's Sir. spirals. Sir. Mm. No light. Mm. Yep. No there are lights. So when the chair it looks like they're flames, did it just like fade Candles. away. It just fades away like an illusion. The mm. chair but... faded away. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah. Oh my god. Guys, I think we found the cultists. Why would really... the cultists be in such a holy place? Oh, they would underneath be the chair. Yeah. Uh, it's out oh. of character, because Luther doesn't know this, but it, to, if, to get into their place, you have to touch the chair. That kills people. And there's probably yeah. guards here normally. Wait, why would that chair kill people? I was out of character. Luther, you another story only Kate would. That's why he yeah, said out of character. Saying. Yeah. What about secret passageway in fronts that other goblin mobs have? Goblin mobs? Uh, vampires. <laughs> what? What are you even talking about? Kate's starting to go down the stairs. Kate, All what right. are you doing? I, I don't know. It, it's just... The, the god seats opened up, and I, I bet Spencer had something to do with this. Okay, listen, Kate. Um, if we get in trouble, it's not my fault, okay? So I'm yeah, going it's down my there, too. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Technically <laughs> trespassing. <laughs> and this is... Oh, yes, you're in the presence of a holy person that usually protects others from holy traps. That's true, that's true. That's true. And plus, I would be the one to get in trouble anyway. Luther's going to start following Kate. Go down the stairs. I wonder what they keep down here. I wonder if anyone even knows of this. Oh, I bet they do. I bet they don't. I'm holding my job. All right. As you guys are descending the stairs, three hours pass as you are descending these stairs. Jeez. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, so I get tired and sit down yeah, for a minute? Yeah, my legs are killing me. So... Alright, you guys can. We, we just take a quick rest and then keep going, I guess. Is there like... How deep do these go? Are we going to the center of the world? As, um, as, uh, no, he said, as Luther says that, you guys see a bigger light than the lights of the candles. Oh look, speak of the devil, the center of the world. Kate's just too amazed. She wants to see what's down here. What's there? All right. You guys approach a golden door. What, um, on the right-hand side, Kate. You it reads for Kate. Um, if thou um, and on the right side, Tommen can read. If you can read this. And. To the god, um, to the horse god, enter. All right, the I need you to say both of those read. Again. Yes, you cut out a little bit. Can you repeat that? Okay, if you wish to know what happened to the horse god, enter. But at your own peril. And what was Kate's? Kate, on the right hand side, uh, Tom, and on the left, both of them read the same. Oh, both of them read the same. Oh, okay. Luther touches the door. Want to it starts to open. Inside? Yeah, Kate's very confused at this point. It starts to open. Oh, Luther opens the door. Yeah, he opens it. As you, it opens, Kate, uh, Luther, and Tommen, you feel a flood of holy 
uh, energy passing through you. It feels warm and inviting and just just nice. Uh, ta um, I want you all to make a perception roll. Yay! That one right after I face that 20. You feel weird. Well, Tom, and actually, I didn't need to make you a perception roll because you can actually feel it. Ooh. Something in your pocket. Burn. Kate, uh, you did not roll high enough. Um, you want to take it out as the other two are looking in? Quite out. It's burning your, uh, it's burning your leg, in your pocket. I'm gonna kind of irritate it for the, let it be for the minute. You don't want to touch it. Keep walking in. All right. No, okay. Before we walk in, I, I'm looking in. What do we see? Okay. You also, um, from the light, you also ca can tell that it's like fading a little bit, but not too much. You can still feel the holy pres. Uh, it's like overwhelming, but Kate can feel it like being drained a little bit, but it's very hard to notice if you're not really focusing it on it. You're saying her her own power that she gets? Yeah. No, from the flood of energy. So there's a flood of energy and then it drained. No, it's it's uh you can still feel the flood of energy. The flood of energy, it feels so powerful, but at the same time it feels like it's being drained. Okay. It feels like it's not as tell. strong as it could be. Since you have your own holy uh you have holy energy, you could tell this. Okay. But it's hard to make out. As you enter the room, you enter a big stone cavern. I wouldn't have entered yet. I would have looked in and then stopped Luther. Yeah, big yeah, Luther's cavern just marching on in, so. With a um with a pillar uh, with what looks to be some uh, some bright figure in the middle with two horses in front of him. At each side, I mean. Not in front of him. At each side. Oh, well, Seeing that, I'm not going to be walking in. Seeing that, she is going to be walking in. Oh. Okay, what are you doing? She okay, walks as in you looking guys up in awe. Enter the thing. Um, you guys uh, are just looking at him and getting closer. You guys notice a kind of light on the ground. It looks like a circle that's uh, and in the middle is the man. He uh, the man is also uh, very big. How big um, is big? Kate, you notice another figure in the room. Okay. And he turns and looks at you. Um, Kate, you also hear him whispering to you himself, but you cannot make it out. Who is it? Give me a history roll. <laughs> oh, look, you don't know who it is. What do they look like? Man. It's just a man. And he looks like he's shaking. Is he like covered in, in like a hood or something, or is he just like? Nope, he looks angry. like an he looks like an old man, and he looks at, he's looking at you, muddle, muddling to himself. He has a beard, if you wanted to know. And he's standing in front of the large man. No, nah, he's in the uh, circle with the large man. And then there's two horses. Yep, on each side of the man. Are they living horses or like statues? Um. From where you are, they look like living horses. Okay. I'm still approaching, awestruck. Um, I'm um, going to try to reach out for Kate. Luther's going to follow... The man gets starts to get closer, and you guys start hitting his mom. No one must know. No. Okay. Kate, we're leaving, no bye. No. He gets to the edge of the light on the ground... And then jumps at you. I no one must know. As soon as he jumps, after he passes through the uh, the ring, his body, everything he's uh, on his possession, he it does have a knife. You guys see the knife? Uh, 
everything on his possession except for a knife and a um a um a huge tablet a tab ta tablet yeah tablet um is it tablet like a stone tablet yeah that's it the stone tablet hit the ground and everything else just turns to dust so I guess I'll go over to the tablet well the tablet is not in the pillar of uh is not in the circle of light. So it's outside of it. But the man's gone. Do you get uh uh Tom, do you look at this tablet too? So I'm trying to figure out where the man went. Well, you saw a bunch of dust fly out. Yeah, I'm very confused by what I saw. Kate, do you wish to read it? It's in two languages. One of them you can read. I read it. All right. I write this for the sins of all men, uh, of me and my friend who has done this. We do not. We did not mean to uh, uh, make a sin like this. In the olden days, we a council of mighty heroes begged the god of light to help us and yet he refused even killing one of his me uh, uh, membering gods that wanted to help us we begged and pleaded and he killed us for it so my friend uh, 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 killed him We have, uh, so we hid this body here. Do not touch that, uh, the body or anything else. Or the sins of this world will come upon you. Did you read that out loud? No. Uh, t um, beware. It, um, and then uh, it looks like he started to go crazy after he wrote that said beware 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 over and over again until it hit the end so is the large man is he not moving is he like asleep or he looks like he's asleep do we hear breathing give me a roll or see breathing at least can i see if he's give alive me a roll. as well give me a roll i'm rolling really good um, Luther, you can kind of see he's kind of breathing. Hmm. He doesn't say anything because he doesn't know what the tablet said. Business is. Yeah. You guys want uh, uh, Luther? Do you want to continue to the uh, through the light pillar? No. I approach seeing the guy jump. Yeah, I seen the guy jump through and turning into dust. Okay. He's not gonna go through it. I'll approach the uh, the light pillar and actually like touch my hand against it as if I was about to touch a solid wall. Okay, don't touch it. Um, okay, you touch it, nothing happens. It doesn't even rub off. And then I'll try and put my hand through it. Okay, Ignoring Tom nothing change. Warning. No change? I'll pull my hand back and look at the other two. Luther's shaking his head. He could need help. We could also die. You saw what happened to that guy. He gestures to the pile of dust. Based on that tablet, he didn't sound like a very holy man. Well, that's... I suppose that's up to your jurisdiction. I did not see what the tablet said. You... I guess you can do it if you want to. I'm staying out here. Okay, but I need to tell you something first. Yes? <gasps> Like put my hand in my pocket and I throw the ring on the ground. You throw metal shards. Like I, I there is no ring. It turned... What? What looked to be like a silver ring, not the ring you had. I kind of stop and think to myself. Do I feel the burning in my pockets? No, it's that was the where your ring was. 
So he stopped and he threw a silver ring on the floor? No, he he, he stopped through pieces of a silver ring. It could be it. anything to you. I look at it and look back up to him. And? I took that ring. I'm I'm sure what you'll be rings? forgiven. I feel like this is going to be a bad place, and if I take a bad thing into there, it might be bad. So I took that ring. That ring? It looked, It doesn't even look like the same ring. He's referencing, because from what Tommen's saying, it sounds like he's saying he's confessing that he took it from before. Yeah, I I, I, I took it. Kate's just thinking ring. that uh, Tommen stole a ring from a cart or something. Oh. Why? I don't, why, why would you even steal a ring? What? So... Okay, it's it's the ring. Do you remember the ring that I turned in when we were in we were in the the church? The cursed ring. Yes. Well, you've done a good thing by throwing it away and destroying it. It's not destroyed. It's right there. It's in pieces. That's not the ring. It's not even the same ring. Confused by this, I pick it back up and I show it to their face. This this you, ring. You pick up one of the shards. No, I pick up, like, the ring ring, because don't I see it as the ring, or is it also shards? It's just shards right now. It's just pieces of dinks of uh, what look to be silver. It might be iron, to all, uh, for all you know. Uh, Guys aren't smiths. I'm pretty... I think Luther would know the difference between silver and iron, given his occupation. Well, it wasn't destroyed before he came in here. Okay, just... it's iron. It's iron? Oh. The ring, the ring left. Then Luther just kind of looks at Kate. Tell me, you did a good thing by destroying it. No, Kate, I think it did a very bad thing. What? What do you mean? I, I feel like this ring wanted to come here. Maybe if it really did want it to come here, and I just brought it here. I'm gonna detect good and evil. Okay. Good oh. idea. Give me a roll. Ooh. You see good all over this world, uh, all over this place. You don't even feel evil. Anything, any, even a smidgen from the shards. I'm very focused on the shards. Kind of feel evil from Tom and's blade, but that's because it's, uh, it looks like it's on the edges where it's been cutting evil. So that would qualify it, but mostly it is good. Okay. Then, Tom and I don't, I don't no, feel I, anything. You actually feel a little bit good from the ring. I'm very confused by this. The evil just—it seems to be gone. So, well, I, I guess accept that for now. Guess I pick up the pieces and put it in a sack. I would suggest leaving that here. It's a. As Kate stops and he's like, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Are you going to pass through the white, yellow ring? I don't know. I, don't I, know I still feel very uncomfortable by that. I don't know what will happen if a non-holy person tries to pass through. Why don't you go in first and we'll go from there. If, if you still want to go in there, of course. If you burst into flames, I miss you. She looks at you as you say that. <laughs> Have some faith in her, Tommen. Well, I'm gonna miss you too if you burst into flames. I, well, I, I. <laughs> he just <laughs> shakes his head. Kate will uh, approach Tommen. Well, in case I don't come back, and she'll kind of jump up on her toes and peck him on the lips and run into the ring. Luther rolls his eyes. <laughs> As you enter the ring. You have the strongest urge to go touch the body. Yep, that's immediately what I'm going to do, intending to cast a cure spell. Okay. So, she is running for the body. Do you guys have any uh, any obligation to stop her? At this point, I I may start walking in as soon as she starts crouching down to the body. Well, as, as, seeing as she's okay, as Luther's you really stepping and... through through the gate you have the strongest urge to go touch the body 
Tommen, as you step through, nothing. Nothing. Wait, I do. Nothing. I feel the yes. Urge? You yeah. want to touch it really bad. Can I try to suppress this urge? You cannot. All right, I go touch it. Okay. Well, Kate's already well, touching it. Kate point. already uh, has now reached the body and touches it. In a single instance. Kate, you horrible ripping of something being destroyed in your body being obliterated she Um, starts screaming yep you are being ripped apart and you fall to the ground as uh, as she falls the body starts to crumble into dust I Um, I um, still feeling compelled to touch it Yes, you still would kind of feel it, but at the same time, no, in an instant. After she touches it, after she touches it. Okay. um, Luther, you feel the holy symbol. Uh, Can you feel the holy symbol of the wooden holy symbol in your pocket? Yeah. It feels like it's not there. Luther reaches for his pocket, his coat. You bring out a pile of dust. He reaches into his bag and looks for the other symbol. Find a pile of dust. As uh, this body is crumbling, you now uh, now uh, see uh, see the horses start to crumble too. Um, the cavern is starting to shake now. So what what state is Kate in right now? She is unconscious. Is she She's just solid. unconscious, or was she like was she physically harmed in any visible way? Uh, not that you guys can see. Okay. She is at zero health right now. Luther <sighs> is gonna run forward, pick her up, and try to hoist her over his shoulders to start firemaning her out. I guess. I'm gonna the circle to... is now gone. By the way, Tommen's a strong kid, right? Trauma, a yeah, Tommen is stronger than you, a he, lot stronger gonna, than you. Yeah, he's gonna hand Kate over to Tommen. I'm gonna take her. We gotta get out of here. Well, how do we get out? Uh, do the same way we went. Well, where, where else? I don't know if there's a way to go further in, but let's go. Is there is there a way to go further into this place? Or is this like a dead end? Yeah, is this it? Um, uh, no, uh, just through the door you entered. Okay, yeah, Luther's gonna. Start going, making sure, like, holding the door open for Tom and to get Kate out and whatnot. Yeah, now we're going. And the door's already open, but you see yeah, the yeah. golden door is uh, starting to break. Like, it's turning to ash. Yeah, Luther's just get out mode. Yeah, we're getting out. All right, as you guys are running up the stairs, it only takes you about ten minutes and you get to the top. What? What? I mean, I'm not complaining. You know what, Luther this, magic is weird, and I change my mind about everything. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys get to the top, you notice that there are two chairs. But Wait. Okay, so where the other chair was, is the passage still there? Yeah. The passage is still there. The, the broken chair, chair doesn't look like it's broken. Oh... Trash oh. is it, it looks like it's a silver chair uh, engraved with um, vines and flowers. Can I read that? No, it doesn't have any language on it. There's nothing to read. Vines and flowers. Is um, it? Is it like uh, underneath the earth? Luther's gonna kind of like grab Tom. Just like we need to get out of here. I, I feel like this isn't just happening here. We might get in trouble if we stay here. Yeah, that's true. Let's go. You guys come out and see a man on the ground. See the man that let you in on the oh, ground. Oh, yeah. God. Shit. Here, I'll I'll grab him. Luther's going to try to pick him up. Is he big? Is he already dead? Yeah, he's pretty big, but he's pretty light at the same time. But he's he, right. No, he's just unconscious. And Luther is stronger than average, actually. So who's going to pick him up? Is our building still shaking? Uh, not anymore. Not where you uh, guys are. What, what do you think, Tom? Do you think we should take him? Is there is there like a like a barricade hut somewhere like where crossing points are or checkpoints? 
Yeah, it was about about to one uh, ten minute walk from where you guys uh, uh, went uh, to the gate, God's seats. So going to or from the God's seats? You're going from the God's seats. It's about a ten minute walk. Okay, then yeah, we might as well just go drop him off there, and so he's not hurt. As you guys exit, you see two of the guys that are standing guard on the ground. One has uh, his mouth f- uh, was foaming. Or we uh, just kill the cultists that are here now. What cultists? Come on, we went to a holy place and all this shit's happening now. I think we're the cultists in that case. And this, I don't know, I feel... No. Mm-mm. Think about it, all this started happening after we did things. Well, that's true, it doesn't mean that this isn't a cultist spot. Yeah, um, Look, we... I guess. You said that... You said that chair is supposed to kill us, right? I don't know what the chair is supposed to do. Well, well, I touched it and it disappeared, and I don't know why, and I wanted to touch it. Okay, well, I wanted to touch the body, and it disappeared too. Tom, and in your mind, you get the idea it was hiding the god. What? He was hiding. Why? No, you, you say... It was hiding. The chair was hiding the god. What? Chair was hiding the god. What? Tom, we don't have time for this. No, that's. Do not hear that. No. It was in your mind. It sounded like your voice. So the chair is hiding the god. Are we trying to find the god? I think we found the god, and I think we destroyed it. No, I don't think we were destroyed. It. I don't know. I feel like something else is going to happen. Why would these guards be all dead? They're not dead. Why oh, are they foaming? They're still breathing. One guy was just uh, so shocked at what happened to him. Look, we need to get us somewhere safe. Everyone here knows that we're the only ones here. And uh... okay, well, let's go to the barricade and see. Try to settle down and wait until Kate gets up or something. This Try to good. help. This so. man, but we'll leave the guards. It, um, now it is nighttime, and you hear screaming from a wall from uh, from <sighs> far away. Great, 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 great. Like great, in the great, great. Yeah, cultists! I told you we found him. Is it like lots of screaming, or just like a single person? Screaming? You guys can't. He, you guys can't really tell. It's like very far away. Can I percept to see if it's multiple screams? Yeah, go ahead. Roll. Was it just a quick scream and then it just stopped? Or was it kind of a long sound, but it didn't have to be as loud? It still be very quiet. It's a long scream. Okay. No, uh, it's like... Just roll. It's multiple screams. All right, great. Well, can I see if I can try to wake Kate up somehow? Like okay, I medicine. See what's wrong with her and try to. This get is her all away. like okay. We're all for uh, you guys. Uh, do you want to put her down? Well, yeah. I was assuming that we'd okay. It's a twenty-one on my medicine. Um. Okay. So you look and you check her eyes. Her eyes are rolled back into her head. Okay. So all you see is the white part. Am I able to get her to wake up? You, uh, you try everything, even dousing her with some water. Nothing ha- is working on her. Great. great, great, great. Not even the other guys. Well, Tom, I think it's up to us for now. A man comes up to you and says, What happened to all the priests? I immediately draw my sword. Don't. Whoa! Whoa! I was just came to see the temp, uh, the god seats. There are supposed to be priests here. I wanted to know if they were awake. Nope. Yeah, the, they're not awake. The god seats are closed right now, sir. Yep. <laughs> of course they're closed. It's almost like 12 at night. I mean, three at, uh, two at night. Why'd you come up here then? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's check for priests. He's Why do you looking need to check for, for priests? priests? What do you need priests for? Yeah, to heal the to... other priests that are unconscious. Who were they oh, unconscious at? Great. Well, there's about 20 I've met. This place. What's happening in the town? Well, 
us uh, normal soldiers that don't have any power of faith are trying to hold back the zombie hordes. Oh, great. Zombie hordes, great. Come on, Tom, <laughs> we gotta go. He's <laughs> gonna, gonna grab Tom and pull him along with Kate, I assume. What about this, uh, what about this man? You take care of them. Ah, oh, you fuck. What? <laughs> As you're running away. I like this man. Like <laughs> He's just <laughs> wearing that. He's not a holy man. He's a normal guy. I assumed it was a holy man. No holy mans are uh, uh, are conscious. Plus, Kate swore at you so many times in the first session. Did she? Yeah, every other word was like ass or something. <laughs> huh. I do not remember that. Ass. And, and okay, well, where, where are we going now? I'm going towards the screaming. Towards the screaming, all right. You pass through the third gate. No one's there. Like, Pretty going... easy to get through. Uh, yeah, you guys the... wait get at the... halfway through the second gate. When Before you he... see in front of you a horse, it is uh, just running along. Is it the special horse? Yep, it stops right at you. I knew it. Hey. Don't put... <sighs> We're, I haven't stopped yet. We're still like running towards the screaming. Yeah, Luther's still running towards the screaming. He's not stopping for the horse. All right, it's just following you now. Yep. Shadow mirror bumping into you, screaming for their life. The horses? No, uh, no, the people are. They're just running past oh, okay. you. They don't want to oh, be. They're running away. You see, uh, t uh, about thirty men closing the wall to the thing. Is there any spots that look like aren't being like managed? Like, is there any place that nope. I can squeeze in? But try everywhere to... is being sealed off. It looks like. All right. I mean, like, is there anywhere I can go to there... help seal off? Yeah. Is there a place I can like go and? I want to make sure that Kate somewhere maybe zombie hordes aren't getting through. Yeah. There. That is the only entrance that you've seen to from yeah. the to the second gate. I meant to the first gate. Um, cool. Shadowmere, can you guarantee that Kate won't fall off? Don't put her on... Nods his head. If you put Kate on her, it's... Then... Whatever. She will be very cross with you when she wakes up. Would you rather be dead? Would you rather Shadowmere be dead? You know what? That's something I can't control. It is by not putting Kate on it. What's he going to do? Take off? No. Kate's going to kill it. You know how she feels about it. Okay, well, we're not with the zombie horde that's coming up. Don't worry about that. They're, the zombies are under control, it looks like. As you're hearing screaming <laughs> from the first gate. I thought you said they were closing off the first gate. No, the, the, this is technically the second wall. Hearing so, behind it, the second wall. We can't get around it, so it's not like we can do anything about it. Yeah. So I, yeah, that's my case. We don't need to get her anywhere fast for a bit. Oh no, this is just to make sure that she's in a place where the zombies aren't while you and I go deal with it. We're not going over the wall. We're not going over the wall, we're just going to help out where we can. It looks like we have everything covered. I don't know if there's anywhere else we can help. Has to be As, reason. You also see uh, different bodies on the ground. Ooh. Are they holy people or are they peasants? They're holy people. It looks like they all have the seal of the um, light horse. Luther's going to start kind of like going around. Help, help me gather them up, I, I guess. Is there... He's going to try to collect all the unconscious bodies of holy men and stack we... them not stack them but light line them up a little okay do we like rope them up or something or you see other people know. doing the same thing helping the holy people mm. we're just oh. getting them together so they're easier to treat yeah i guess so then i find a clean spot where no i don't even get like put kate down i don't know why i feel like you're just gonna like take caleb away somehow and just like Caleb has a, has a new character the whole time. Also, sorry for freaking people doing fireworks every time we do this stuff. 
Got it's okay. Cool. My dog freaks out. Uh, my cousin's dog freaks out. So do my dog freak out at fireworks. They hate it. Is there a yeah. boulder tree nearby that's big enough to support her? No. The there is. The dog I have is a little bit bigger. Oh, I thought you were saying there's a golden retriever nearby. Okay. Um, I was confused. Then I lean her against the tree and go yeah. off and help clean up bodies better. The horse just stands by Kate. Mm. All right. Do you guys want to stay up all night or what? Um, Luther, just, I mean, does the screaming ever stop? Yeah. No, there were tons of people in the first wall, uh, in between the first and second wall. And Luther okay. is not able to sleep. After an hour and bodies have been cleaned up, I may like lean against a tree and attempt to nod off, but that's about it. He's trying a D20. Tom, it's Tommen's hard of trying not to fall asleep right now. All right. Morning time. You are not able to use any of your holy magic. Dang. We fucked up. I mean, is as soon as it on. starts to crack morning, the screaming finally stops. That's when you fall asleep. Up. Yeah, Luther falls asleep then, actually, yeah. He wasn't sleeping at all when the screaming was happening. Kate, um, at it's about 12, Kate finally wakes up. Luther's fast asleep. I'm face, to, I'm face down on the ground. They're both just, like, scattered, like, at her feet, kind of. Kate, you are drained. You don't feel anything holy. You're a gem that you got is dust. All your holy symbols are dust. Even the rock that uh, Peter gave you is dust. Nice. So she's just going to go in the fetal position and start shivering because this is the first time in a long time that she's woken up without the warmth of the divine magic within her. Okay. Snore. Uh, you guys wake up. What did, did my axe turn to ash as well then? No, but it looks like the holy symbols like faded. So Luther's gonna wake up. Mm. So, so both of my horse symbols are gone, right? Yeah. You still have a horse though. He's just sitting yeah, near. Yeah. He's laying down nearby. Oh, oh my right holy here. water. Is my holy water still here? You still have holy water. Yeah. Oh, cool. So is my uh, symbol with the flower stuff? The flower symbol? The flower god symbol? Do I still have that? Yeah, you do. Cool. Still have that one. Luther just kind of wakes up, checks that, looks over and sees Kate awake. She's in a fetal God. position, shaking back and forth. He's gonna kind of crawl over and like sit on his knees and just kind of pat her back. It's gone. Yep. <laughs> I think I know what happened. She just has some of the dust in her hand, in her palm. <sighs> Luther's just going to kind of kneel there and start dumping dust out of his pockets from all the holy symbols he was oh, collecting. Hey, hey, hang on. Don't, don't, don't throw it away yet. What? Do you think this is useful now? No, but I think we can bring it back. How? Okay, you got to hear me out, though, Luther. Have to go back to where we were, to the God Seats. And then we have to go further into the cavern past where, where that circle was. There's nothing past there. We need to find if there's something past. We need to touch. There the was room. nothing there's... past it. It was a round room. I'll tell you now, because you guys all saw it. 
But this being in character, it's still. Tom, what? and there's no going back. Oh, st oh, rocks were falling down when, uh, when you guys were running out. By the, the way, the other gods can, because the other one did. What? Well, another chair appeared with. That wasn't crumply anymore. It was put back together. Yeah. It looked like it was so old. These, the, yes, I. I get the feeling that that god has to do with this, and Luther holds out the nice flower symbol for the flower god. I don't know what god this belongs to. It was whatever one owns that chair, though, and I, I don't know anymore. I'm sorry I touched the chair. It wasn't your fault. It was none of our faults. I get the feeling that this was inevitable. Well, we need to figure out how to fix it, I guess. At least I feel like I need to. <sighs> it looks like um, all the other priests and stuff are walking around and not being unconscious anymore, right? Yeah, Some are media. unconscious dead. Is, is that a low ratio? It's a very, it's pretty low ratio. Okay. Okay, well, I don't feel too bad. Could be worse. In the immediate area, has like our environment changed at all? Um, Besides zombies being around. It doesn't look as green. as uh, Well, yeah, it still looks pretty green. It just doesn't feel as safe. What do you think Frederick's doing right now? Hmm. Did the Kino the Fox God does? Do you think he has his holiness anymore? Or is he just like one of us now? No. Kate, are you okay? She's just sitting there staring into the dust in her palm as she's sh like shivering, basically. Do I have like an empty jar in my bag or something? Yeah, I have not? some if you ask for it. I actually have two listed. Okay. Or sorry, four listed. Four. There you go. He's going to hand Tom in the bottle. This? Hmm? Keep this? You can have it. I think I've you got three more. I take a little bit and I, of whatever ash or soot it may be and stick it in the bottle as much as I can and cork it and cake. You guys also notice they're opening the door. Luther keeps a wary eye over in that direction. I'm sorry, Kate. Sit it next to her and or at least try to place it in her hand. The jar? The jar, vial, however big it may be. She'll she'll hold it and then start staring into it again. I'm gonna go and see what's going on with the doors being open. Okay. Got the doors open. Um uh there is a soldier there. Uh, he's letting people through. People are running. Some are uh, not even getting near the door. Only a few are going through. Did you want to ask him anything? or? Tommen feels unquestionable right now, but... Excuse me, sir. Oh, here, Brody. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Um, but how many? Do you know what happened? I have no idea. Everything's gone. It's like they, all the faith in the world is gone. Well, that's jolly delightful. Um. 
do you do you perchance know about a flower god or anything like that? I've heard of any? He's situation. looking at you we very weirdly. What are you mm -hmm. talking about? Haven't you heard the stories? What stories? Flower to God doesn't even exist. Well, was there a flower god? Well, there was, but no one's even seen or heard from. Do you know what happened? Can't say. Uh, okay, well, per se, if that flower god was still here, what do you think would happen? Much. The world won't be engulfed in the flame or anything, or overran by... By her would have evil to kill god the minions. Lich. Would have to kill the lich. Stop the undead from coming back over and over again. Where's the lich at? I doubt he know probably knows now that all the holy magic's gone. Okay, He'll so probably the lich come at? tonight. That's great. Then we just have to kill the lich and we'll be safe. Did you did you just say Lynch? Yeah. We need to find a way to kill him. How do we kill him? Ha! <laughs> we can't kill him anymore. Oh, why not? There's only holy people like George can kill such beings. I think you mean Gordon? Gordon. Gordon. Yes, Gordon. Sorry. I have another hero written down, George, but you didn't do that quest, um... so. I see. Well, um, do do you know where a temple of where, where this flower god used to be? Only, there's only one god that's had a temple, and he's not blessing us now anymore. Well, he looks down. Depressed. Well, I'll let you wallow in your sorrow. Thank you for your time. <laughs> okay. And so, are you help. guys staying till night? Arius is most. Arius. Luther is mostly concerned about how Kate's doing. He's kind of scared that she might, like, go crazy. Yeah, I feel like she's just going to come, like, so he's gonna go at her pace. Yeah, we're not rushing anywhere. Especially since, like, the entire purpose of their quest could be in question at this point. Um, I don't. That I, I kind of lean into Luther, like, and, and whisper, like, well, since since Kate doesn't have. So there's no holy thing anymore than just ride the horse now. I don't think she she's still not gonna be happy about it. She would either. So I'd just give her a rest. Yeah. She could use the rest, but I don't know if it might stress her out too much. He says that as I like dot off. <sighs> no. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. You can tell her to get on the horse and they speed up a bit. Wait, are we going somewhere? No, we're not going anywhere, as far as I know. Yeah, I just walking say. away. Yeah, we're just gonna go back to where Kate is and sit. Just sit. Just sit. He's going to wait for Kate to do anything. Well, Kate does nothing, says nothing. Um, He's going to wait for Kate to do something. As in, it, like, even if it takes a day or two. Well, well how long has it been since, since waking up? It's been up? about an hour. About an hour. Is there any fruit-bearing trees around, or 
Is everything still dead and depressing? There are still fruit bearing trees. Nothing's dead. Unless you go into the next section. <laughs> hey, spoilers. Well, if there's it doesn't any... look like you guys are going to go that way, so. We might Technically, have... isn't spoilers. We could have gone. It's the Lord. We don't know what's there. That's all. Well, there has to be someone who knows about this, and I don't know who. I'm starting to wonder whether or not it's, whether or not it's worth it at this point. What about that man that stopped you? What about him? Think about it. Which, which, which one? I've been stopped by like four people in the past two days. The most recent one. Was he the one with the apprentice or the one with the shield? Not the shield guy. Okay. Um, a man is now walking by. He's sobbing. S sobbing. He's crying. Yeah. Uh, I get the feeling that's a thing that's been happening a lot. And the guys, they've yeah. locked up the third gate. No one goes in. He said no one goes in or out until the priests come. And he walks away. The third gate. Is that the gate that we're behind? That uh, you just here. left from. Yep. You can either go in or... I meant you can go out and that's it. Or stay in there. Hey, Bob. Okay, then we need to get out of here then. No, Kate's no... Kate, Kate's in no way to travel right now. She may not be in the mood to travel, but I think we need to leave. Do we, though? Yeah, think about it. If we're we're going to be stuck here the entire night. The zombies are at the other gate. We're going to get boxed into here and get like an ass attack. That's true. But they managed to keep the gates closed. Doesn't mean they won't be able to keep it this time, especially with the leech coming in. I mean... I don't know. I mean, how how do you kill an undead thing? If only I still had Gordon's sword. You think my sword can? I don't know what the deal is with your sword. I'll be honest. I don't know, but I. Listen, I'm on my personal load. I I feel around in my body. Do I feel anything particular? Nope. 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 Just do a pat down and find nothing. Oh, um, no, that's yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, at least the curse string isn't. It's again. Indeed. Luther just kind of like leans against the tree that they put Kate under earlier. Kate. Okay, no what idea. are you guys doing? Are you but, staying or are you leaving? Luther's I gonna stay. No, now. I know Kate. She doesn't acknowledge you. Kate, I know you're very sad right now, but I think but you really need to listen to what I'm about to ask you. We could potentially die here because of this leech thing that's coming in. We could try to get out. And the lich, but, not a leech. The lich. Either way, we can either try to stay here and fight and potentially die trying, or we're able to go try to go back and see how somewhat resolve this and maybe bring a god, because we just brought another god. She doesn't acknowledge that she heard. Right, well... Do you see Luther do since we're staying here when I get ready for a fight? Sure thing. Okay, you guys are staying till night. In the meantime, is there any like empty buildings nearby? Uh, there are a few buildings, but not very many. It looks like they're being torn down for bear uh, for the barricade of the wall. Oh mm, god. It's a bad idea. <laughs> Luther's gonna try to find and claim one that's further away from the wall. 
if he's able to. There's a house available. Yeah. Is there a house available? Uh, nope, not that you can find. Yay. Then I'm gonna go under the shade and sleep until... until they hear screaming, I guess. I'll take first shift. And wake me up when, when you're ready. Mm-hmm. And two in the afternoon. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay. As you guys, it is now about six o'clock, and the lights are going down. I assume we would have traded off. You shifts. all start to hear a horn. Boom. Boom. Like a war horn, or. Um, Yes, a war horn, but it sounds distorted, like it's been broken. Mm. So it's very unnatural sounding. Yep. Luther, like, sits up immediately, like aloof. Gets his short sword out. Yeah, I, I unsheath my sword. His silver one. He tips his hat back, because he's like, I imagine he was about to fall asleep leaning against the tree. Right, is Kate, Kate still up, or...? Yeah, how's she doing? Don't know. Uh, Kate, hey, how are you doing? She'd still be up, and she's still just doing absolutely nothing. Kate... Uh, Luther's gonna try to, like... feed her. He's gonna, like, try to, like... To, yeah, bring her fruit. Yeah. Uh, she would require a lot of prompting, but she'll she'll end up doing it. Okay. Luther lets Tom and do it. Take a bite of apple first, and kind of like nudge it in her face, and like it's food. Takes tiny, tiny nibbles. Placing it in her, in her hand, I'm like, come on. Eat it. And I grab another apple. Just placing it in her hand, she's just going to sit there. Great. She's like catatonic, isn't she? <sighs> you know, Kate's okay. not all bad. Not being religious. Uh, this is not a talk I wanted to have with Kate. Is there any reaction out of her? She does nothing. Let me, let me say that because I've never had such a thought for something like that and I just did my work in a shop and came here to make another shop. So, bye. Still here and pretty happy with what's going on. Mm. So, so, is the Warhorn still doing its thing? Oh, yeah, yeah it's and now and drums dangerous. are starting to play. Dum, 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 bu -bu -bum. dum, dum, dum. He's gonna stand up and he's gonna head for the wall because that's where I imagine the drums are coming from. Yeah, I'm gonna go there too and like eat your apple. Luther seems perturbed. And then if Kate's going to be sound there, the horses could be watching her. I'm going to go off with the two. What do we see? You see fires um, in the first section. It's been blocked off, boarded up so tightly that it doesn't look like anyone, any human can get through. Hmm. But we still hear horns and drums and stuff. Drums, and then the screaming starts. Are what? there people, like other guards and whatnot around here, like, preparing or anything? Yep, you see a ton of people getting ready. Okay. Uther 
starts getting ready with them. I want to try to climb up and peek over the wall. That's too high. It's way too high for you. You uh, you do see uh, catapults. Uh, I meant ballista shooting stuff. But uh, it's like they start disappearing weirdly because you guys stop focusing mm. on them and bam. Bam. Kate stands up and starts walking to the gate. Luther's okay. Not paying attention. Yeah, neither am I. I'm kind of focused at the gate. Okay. Like he kind of like sees her coming and just kind of like, like does she? What? How does she look? I uh, imagine she's still like dazed. She's like raggedy and crazy looking. Dazed and unfocused. Yeah, figures. He's just kind of like acknowledge her, like seeing her, and then just look back over at the wall. Um, do I notice Kate getting up? Here's Burton. Hello? What? Oh, okay. What did you say? Sorry. Did you want me to roll to see if I'm able to notice Kate getting up or not? E roll. You notice Kate get up. Seeing this dazed, confused person... Like you, okay. Well, I, I'm on my hail. Then and... you guys hear a roar. Oh, your roar that you guys do not know. Could I possibly have any notes from the uh, library? No, nope, you would not know that? anything about it. It's a sound right. you never heard. Yes. Roll me. Where is it? There we go. Turntable. Initiative. Initiative. We have tokens click to... on your... Oh, wait, I forgot to change it so you guys can click on your characters. Oh. I think I'm seeing a lot of stuff I'm not supposed to be seeing right now, maybe. Or are we supposed to see all of this? I think this is the battlefield. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Do you want me to change it to my previous number? Wow. Luther's no, role is very you're... appropriate. Was twenty three appropriate? Nothing. Just how how Luther's mindset is right now. The fact that he rolled high is very appropriate. Kate, hey, do you want my Hilbert or not? She doesn't say anything. She just keeps walking. Um. Suddenly. The uh the wall that you're at, in the corner, bursts open. Gale type lizard appears and is looking at you guys. And if combat's beginning, Luther's charging at it, screaming. But all these Ariuses. I was thinking the same thing. Oh, oh, it's, get you. Remember, it's Ariusai. Um, Arius. Ariusai. Red, blue, Arius. and original. It's, yeah, it's, it's great. Liquid Arius, blue Arius, and Arius. <laughs> and behind it is all these monsters. All right. Oh, uh, Luther, you go first. I wish yeah. I had battle music, but I don't. As soon as the gate opens. He's gonna, since this is, since the, how does that work? Does, does, do I get like a, since I act before he does a sneak attack thing? Nope. I Isn't can that see how you. it works? Well, no, Not but like this type of combat. I'm just talking like rules wise. That's how your ability works as a rogue. You get yeah. advantage. So. If they haven't acted yeah, yet. So. Yeah, so I'm going to run up and get my advantage then. Luther, just as soon as the gates open, or as soon as this thing comes out, he's just screaming, just foam everywhere. He seems weird. He's going to stab him! That's a nat 20. 
All right. Roll what? damage. So that's that. So 14 plus 19. So 33. I'm dumb. You're dumb? I'm dumb. Why are you dumb? Dumb, dumb, dumb. dumb. I didn't carry the one to make it 33. I was like, it's 23. Oh, yeah. That's important. So yeah, Lucy just charges up and stabs it. Yeah, not it's... even caring what it is. Sorry, Luther, but it doesn't affect the dragon because it's a pierce weapon. Aren't short... It's lame that short swords can only be piercing. Even with Wait, the crit? No. I thought you had a rapier, not a short sword. You're thinking of Arius. Oh, I'm I'm wrong. I thought it was a a a, a, um, a short sword of slash. So yes, you hit. Okay, cool. I probably just put it in wrong. Ah, I think a short sword is still piercing. But... Uh, but... No, it's slash. Short sword is one d six piercing. Yep, that's what I got. No effect. Even with the crit. It, you dig it in, you notice that it doesn't have any flesh. Okay. A scale pops it's up. There. Oh, it, I forgot to tell you, it starts to rain too while this is happening. Thunder oh. streaks, it looks like a skeleton. Oh, great. <laughs> great, guys. I could do so much more than just piercing. If this is more than it is. Well, that's my turn. Yay. Okay. How about um, Tobin? How oh, Tobin? Toby. Uh, Tommen. Gosh dang it. Why did I say Tobin? Get some sure. water real quick. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, that coincides with my plan. Well, um, I'll tell you anyway. I'm going to shout at Arius for him to come back here. Just for future combat. Okay. Um, but uh, for the moment, I'm not going to leave Kate alone in the battlefield because she doesn't have a weapon and she's not all here. Doesn't she have her axe with her? Nope. She left that. Yep. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sticking to her until... Until Larius can switch off and I can go try to fight the dragon. So, get ready my action in this case. You know. I guess I should wait until Spencer gets back so I can tell. I'm back. That's not Spencer. Tell Josh things and tell him orders. What are you telling me? I'm telling you to come trade places with me and I'll fight this thing. Tell me that in character. Yes. All right, I'm gonna give Luther a roll. Let's see what he thinks of it. Eh. Didn't mean to advantage of either way. Yeah, he seems to acknowledge you. All right, and then I'm gonna at least get to here. Are you not? You know, I thought you were staying with Kate. Yeah, I I said that too. I mean, he's ten feet away. Yeah, ten feet away is fair enough. This gives me the extra thirty feet to go towards the dragon when. Okay, these are spearmen, by the way. Okay. What about these people? What? These people. I don't know who you're pointing at. These people. Okay, those are our archers. You only they have are. three, so protect them. Okay, then I'm going to be right here and be attentive to anything crossing my line of vision. Also, what are these? Are these ghosties? Those are ghosty goose. Those are icemen. Have I read about ghosts to know that silver can harm them? Um, you see these ghosts, but you've read about them, but it's weird because they never follow a lich's command. They shouldn't follow a lich's command. Yeah, I'm mostly worried, wondering if silver can harm a ghost. Uh, you can't remember. Oh, wait, roll for history. Yeah, I was going to say, I read a freaking book about this. Yeah, roll for history. Both. You can't remember. That was Arius's role. <laughs> uh, Luther's was, was the same. Mm. I'd be an eight. 
Uh, you... Is that it, Tommen? Yep, I'm going to stay here and ready in action in case anything attacks. Okay, Kate, it's your turn. I am my turn. Uh, you did prepare an action in case anything comes. Yeah, I in case... Not. No, I did, no, in case anything Brody crosses did. my line of vision. As oh. soon as I see you walking forward, I'm going to grab you. Like, where are you going? So you grab me right around there-ish. I'm going to pull you over and like, where are you? She sort of shrugs you off to try and keep walking. No, and I pull her back. Oh, contested rolls. <laughs> Strength versus strength, go. This would be a grapple, would it not? Yes, yeah, so both of you roll strength and I'll determine the winner. It would be athletics. Or do you want me to roll athletics then? So just what's your uh... athletics bonus at the time? Oh, hey. <laughs> the same. It'd be the same. So... Kate just throw uh just uh throws you off and she keeps walking forward. Shit. As Kate kind of looks over, Luther kind of gives her a look saying like do it, <laughs> like kill this thing. She doesn't have any magic. Luther doesn't care. What planning. <laughs> Luther wouldn't be 100% sure of that either. Yeah. And Luther doesn't the care DM knows. The DM knows. Then the DM doesn't need to tell the party. Anyway. That's the anyway. All right. A ton of soldiers are now smacking. Oh, wait. Slapping that lizard. Gosh dang. Put the dragon on the bottom, might be easier. On oh, so how do I put it at the bottom? Right okay. click. And then go put it at the bottom. Something like that. Okay. Okay. A ton of these guys are now just slashing, chopping, smashing, blasting, um, this monster. Is this working? Okay. It roars in anger. Ask about that now. What? Can I ask about that now? You see other characters fighting. Like, imagine one guy just got ate by that lizard. No, they're, they're that's their damage against the. Oh, I see. The dragon. Yep. Okay. I'm just being more dumb than usual. Oh, that's also the archers, and these guys are now. Um. Over here and getting ready for the assault of this of the others. The archers did hit the dragon. All right, it's going to attack. Oh, attack! Blah. Ah. That's a natural one. Oh, it's fuck. so angry it doesn't attack. Nothing really happens. It's just standing there. Soon a horde of zombies are now approaching. So, so what are all these uh, guys wielding? Spears. Uh, these guys are uh, those guys are wielding swords, axes, hammers. You name it. I'm trying to think. Is there even a finesse weapon that you that doesn't require um, a finesse weapon that doesn't 
do piercing? Whips. I feel like that'd be even less effective against bones. <laughs> you could, like, whip a bone and pull it off or something. I guess. I'll, I'll see. Let's see. Ones that do slashing daggers, because those do slashing. Daggers do piercing. Nope. They do piercing. They do piercing? That's weird. Mm-hmm. Because you can't slash with a dagger. That just makes no sense. Scimitar. I'm going to make those slashing damage in the other campaign. Yay. Can you make a short sword slashing damage in this campaign? Yeah. I, I, I thought originally <laughs> that it was just Could we retcon and make damage. it so my crit wasn't a complete waste then? Con. Yeah, totally. Okay, I already you. said that, but Caleb had oh, a double Oh, I, <laughs> I thought you said that nothing happened. I was just no. telling you what it says in the rule books. Jackson says do whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, totally. It it, it hit. Cool, thanks. So it was 34 damage. Or, um, 33. Right? Yeah. Math. Okay. A ton of uh, zombies have now swarmed in. You guys also notice from the top that there are archers. Not your archers on top of the wall. Wait, where's the wall? Above you, right behind all these guys. We're like at the choke point, I guess. Um, Brody, you take two damage. An arrow hits you. It is now Luther's turn. All right. Seeing as his, I guess since you said that it is piercing, slashing, slashing. Yeah, Luther's gonna um step right here. And does this count as a uh, flanking this dragon? No, because no one. Oh well. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, it counts as flanking. So roll. And he's gonna do his dealio. Nice loophole guy. What? It's, it's flanking, isn't it? Technically, no, but I'll accept it. And it's a 23 hit. Yep. Roll. Watch for uh, 6 piercing plus 21. 27 damage. Yep. Uh, it's not sneak damage. It is if I'm flanking. He rolls sneak oh. damage anytime yeah. he has advantage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. And um, seeing as these zombies are coming up behind him, he's gonna I'm gonna use my bonus to shoot one of them with my crossbow. I'll shoot that one in the front with a quick. Uh, that was not advantage. Sorry. So fifteen. It hits. Sweet. You just Eleven kill it. Damage. Flat Bam. out. Luther's just like going ham on this dragon, flips around, and goes back to the dragon. You're badass. He's screaming and going crazy right now. That's my turn. All right. Tommen. Upset at Kate shuffling me off. Can I use my bonus action to uh, put my helper in her hands? Yeah. Gonna do does that. Kate take it? Not at all. You need to take this now, because I'm not going to leave you. So it drops on the ground. Well, if she's not going to, like, take it or anything, then I'm going to pick it back up and offer it to her again. Like, please take this. Okay, that will be your action, though. And so, you know, she's just trying to walk through it at this point. And in that case, I'm just going to run up here and get You've it. lost your action trying to get her to, for the Albert. Well, I still have movement, so I'm going to okay. come over here and get ready to embrace this zombie impact because I guess we're outmanned on this side. They're only coming from one piece of the wall. 
Common you know, Luther. Like, mark of where the wall is. Yeah. Because I'm really confused about that. If you don't mind. Oh, yep. I'd be happy to. Okay, so that's okay. the other. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Cool, cool, cool. There is another door on the other side of the wall. Um, on the other side of you have to go the long way around, kind of through the middle. So you guys can ag exit the battle if need be. Fine Running sense. away. Well, I imagine if there was a door, they had it barred up. One is just right over this way. But no one's guarding that door anymore. Okay. Because something burst through the wall. A oh. thick wall, mind you. I wonder what it could be. A freaking oh. fireworks. Comfort your dog. I'm confident in her. Help her. Uh, all right, Kate, it is your turn. You take, uh, for walking through enemies, you do take attacks. Do it. Would Kate really do this? She's yes. going crazy. Oh, 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 no. You are knocked prone over here. Knocked down. Okay. You wish to get up. Yeah, what would that use? All your movement. Okay. That's it. Then I'll stay there. Can I roll to see if I watch her get knocked back? Um, You can see her get knocked down. Okay, it is now the soldier's turn. Okay. So there's uh, these guys over here are struggling to hold back these zombies. The other guys hit for... Sorry, that is not what I rolled. All right. Okay. It is now the zombie's turn. Is that another nat one? <laughs> yes, the zombies do not move. Holy crap. <laughs> Guys, we're getting lucky so far. Yeah. Also, I just jinxed us. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Sorry! Smoke my got him. Uh, okay. We're smoking. The Draco dragon then uh, turns in a circle, knocking every dra- uh, Does that hit your AC, Arius? Nope. My C is 18. Knocking. Uh, you see that knight getting devoured by zombies after he gets knocked over. And there's only one soldier left. And me. Dragon then tries to take a bite of both of you. Nope. Both run out of the way. All right. You think I'm going to let my god die that easily? Luther left. Arrows come in a barrage. Um, you guys take one damage. Shit. Do I get hit? Yes. All right.
Okay, Luther, it's your turn. All right. Um, so penalties for moving through a creature's space. They'll take two opportune attacks. A three. Three? Yep. From what? Zombies. Can they reach me from there? I'm like seven feet away. Well, if you want to move through, I don't think you want to go through. I'm saying through. I want to move through here. I guess that would work too. <laughs> Fine. Bloop, 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 bloop. We'll take one attack opportunity. Not if it's a dash. Or not a dash, a. Uh... doesn't hit you anyway. That's true. D20. I doubt it would hit you. Sprints on over there, letting him and his new knight pal to try Interrupt. to rend this creature's neck. Dang it. As soon as uh, you, it sees you move around, it then blasts the ground with blue fire. Do I get a reflex save? No, you take it. That's crazy. Um, Dexterity. What? Roll um, uh, uh, dexterity save. Oh, so I'm at dexterity save, not reflex. I'm used to Pathfinder. 20. You do save it. Now roll a, cost, um, a wisdom save. Okay. Um, I do take no damage because of evasion. Something melts. Okay. Yeah, you are now blind for uh, three turns. <laughs> Luther starts laughing. This wouldn't be the first time he killed something blind. All right. Get him to die. What was that, Tommen? But then, but then inside. Tommen, it is your turn. Shit, you're gonna die. Mm hmm. Okay, we'll now sing this dragon burst out blue fire and. Oh, you see this guy uh, right here. He's dead. Oh, okay. I just see him burst and burst into flame and die. Yeah. Luther never got his action. Yeah, I never got to finish my turn. Oh. Then do your turn. And it was before that guy died. It was as that guy died. As that oh, guy but died. I got the interrupt in. <laughs> That's true. He died from that. So I still get my attack, though. No, you're interrupted. That does not mean it ends my turn. It means it happens during my turn. But so does not then end my I, turn. I think that interrupts you. It interrupted me, but doesn't make me not able to finish my turn. That's how interrupts work, right, Kayla? No, because uh, I got interrupted during my attack. On No, D&D &D doesn't have like interrupts like that. Jackson's doing whatever he's doing. Oh. I assumed you were doing something from U Realms or something. No. To make the boss fight harder. To be fair, you are the DM, so... No, yeah, I did uh... something uh, something that I read. Oh, okay. There's no rules like that that I've seen, so... My turn so I guess my turn's Camper over Camper King. Then. What? You interrupted me during one of well, my turns. You're, you're trying to do something in the middle of... Uh, as I was doing something else. So I did something to... Sort of role well, play I wanted why to you see. didn't. I know, but you I was in the middle of doing something and you wouldn't have been able to. Okay, you don't want to compare notes. It, is, it is his it's Thomas' turn. I don't want to fight about it. <laughs> Alright. Tommy, it's your turn. Again, after seeing this freak out, I'm gonna here and dash at the dragon at his face and try to take a slash at him. Gosh dang it, Tommy. Roll damage. Is that? I'm going to go for a swing again. Oh, max damage. You take off half its jaw with that swing. Oof. And then for my second... You just... Uh, you killed it. What? I didn't think you would attack that one. I thought you were going to save Kate. Dang it. Well, huh? by slaying your sword, then illumes with a glowing light, 
slashing the uh, you slash the jaw off the dragon and then slash again it just crumbles into dust <sighs> like why did it fear with the sword I'm like this is a little scary now no it was just the enemy type you were fighting either way expect that all oh, right it is now kate's turn Just gonna hang out over here. Just gonna hang out. Okay, that guy doesn't do anything. In fact, he gets hit with an arrow and dies. <laughs> Kate. 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 What? Kate. What? Kate, does that hit your AC? No. Okay. All right. So she stands in the middle of all of them and then raises her arms up. Holy horse of light, my one true lord. All I see are demons and dead in this horde. Strike them down, meet dark with light sword. She starts praying. Great. And then lays down. And that's her turn. What the shit? Lays down? We got two people going crazy okay. today. She's Okay. She lays down to sleep. Feel an emptiness, devoid of emptiness, and you start thinking you're gonna die. That's all you feel. She accepts this. Luther sees this and starts laughing <laughs> in a maniacal kind of way. <laughs> yep. So I, I, I kind of like. Also, I will Question. say real quick, um, the turn order has been gone for the monsters. Oh, yeah, just because the dragon guy disappeared. Yeah. Abby. Yes. Yeah, Kate. Miss Sanford, give him, give him turns. Kate lays down yeah. in the fetal position. And that's all of my turns from now on. Uh, Knew it. Yeah. All right. It is now Oh. I'm rolling horribly with all the characters. Wahaha. Some wow. bites rush start chopping up some of the undead. taking care of them. Spearmen start taking care, but cannot hold their position long. Jackson, Archers firing. What? I'm sorry I like, shortened your dragon fight for you. <laughs> you did. I'm sorry. I made that too. blade. It's my blade. fault because I made that blade overpower yeah, against the characters. And then it was eh. the only holy item left somehow. Yeah. It, it's actually blessed by uh, the fire bonfire Spoiler. god. So. Yeah. Uh... Well, no one's going to know. You guys are going to die. You all know that. No, Plus... we won't. Oh, wait. Not I, I, need I need a roll. I need a roll. I need a roll. Tommen, you feel something in your pocket just appear. Disappear or appear? Something disappeared that I was being lied to this entire time. It is now the monster. Uh, wait, where did the monsters go? I think you, you deleted, deleted me. Again. Gosh dang it! Take one of the guys in the back. Take one of the guys yeah, in the back and then, or make a copy of them and put them on the GM layer so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, okay. Although, I think if they're on the GM layer, it doesn't show up an initiative for us. Yeah, you you don't want to put them on the GM layer. Okay. No, because I could see the creature. Thread. Yeah, but they're not on the GM layer. And start to die. The spearmen do not hold.
They're dead. Screaming. Bloody. Okay. And more undead start coming through. You hear laughing. You hear and laughing you see... from two sources. You hear demonic laughing. Something behind some of the zombies. Something big. Well, not as big as the dragon, but big. He's a worker. And he's got a club. Ugh. All right. It is now Luther's turn. All right. Luther is gonna bonus action withdraw and whistle for his horse. Wee wee. You guys didn't notice, but the horse is gone. What? Wait, when when was it gone? Uh, after Kate woke up. Oh. So remember Tom and bringing it up. You know, it was like if the yeah, he was there before we fell asleep. Okay, I'll bring it. D make it disappear. He comes into picture, then he walks off. But I messed that up, so that is my fault. Here's your horse back. Yay. have a horse what do you do Wait, where's the horse it's there oh there it is just spawns from in the middle of the zombies <laughs> why is it in the middle of the zombies it, it's, yeah it spawns in the middle of the zombies from a black shadow just right okay <laughs> here we go now this is gonna get on it okay what kind of action would we get on the horse uh, minor. Cool. And he's going to use his movement to giddy up on out of there. And while he's going, he's going to shout to Tom and it's been nice to see you again as he rides up. Wow. Okay. Coward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> as I see this, I just slack jawed and like, what <laughs> the hell? He has other plans. Also, um, in character, he's going back to um, Kember to try to kill the Frederick again. Okay. Is Kate's backpack on that horse? Because you were packing the horse? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Probably. <sighs> so you have her diary if you wanted to read it. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would. He's, he's at a moment of ego. All right, Tom, and it is care. your turn. During your turn, you hear a whisper. Put me on. I'm going to put on the ring. All right. In a flash. In a flash, a holy stream of light and what smells like flowers pierce, uh, pierce the sky, killing every zombie on the thing. What the fuck? Just lost Jackson. And Josh, it's not finished, but I can't. I accidentally out of uh, general uh, uh, out of Discord, not Case Diary. Oh. <laughs> All right. So ring. Snaps again. After, uh, after a flush, everyone is safe. There, uh, the wall is rebuilt, and everyone, um, all the zombies are gone. Uh, you, uh, Tommen has a presence of holiness. Every other survivor look at him in awe. Ah, oh, dang it, Caleb. Which part? 
Just, just Luther's gonna be so sad. <laughs> he's gonna, I don't know what he's gonna do. You just left your friends for dead, you ass. No, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> he's reading the diary. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. The thing is, he's not gonna read this for like a day, so he's not gonna be back here anytime soon. <laughs> Tommen has now saved this one. Um, the ring disappears again, and it tells you, you must leave. This place is not safe anymore. And you never hear the voice again, Tommen. Oh, okay. Thus ends the can uh, this one. You go back to town, and you find Frederick dead. Nice. Good job, Luther. This huh. campaign... Yay! No, Frederick died actually before, uh, right as soon as Kate touched the. Well, I don't know body. if Luther's gonna kill Frederick now that he's read this diary. <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do. Hold on. <laughs> it's time to stop for the night. Let me see what this has in it. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, we're gonna black that out and let people read it. No, I'll let people read it. Doesn't matter. Did Kate die in the horde, or was there not enough time? Uh, uh, you were almost dead. Almost dead. But uh, Tommen saved you, as far as you could tell. Tommen slayed a Draco dragon, uh, a lich dragon, and a frickin' and saved everyone. If they're still there the next night, Luther's coming back. <laughs> they never find Luther again. Ah. Mm. It takes Kate a long time to recover from what happened. Oh. Yep, you guys return back to town and find uh, Frederick dead. If anyone didn't know, Frederick actually was stealing power from the god to keep everyone's uh, faith intact. Mm. On the back of the tablet, it said, Frederick, please forgive me. I, uh, we, sh um, you must save this world, uh, for you have saved this world. Frederick was the cultist. No, Frederick wasn't a cultist. Um, in the, uh, what I was trying to, what I was trying to mean is Frederick was, uh, the one that killed the god and stole its power to give to others. So that humans could live because the god would not help them. Wow. Hmm. Frederick would have told you this um, if you had gone and not touched the god. Well, I mean... <laughs> what about my shop, though? Give me a roll. You'll find out later. All right. Thank you for watching, campers. Yes. If you'd like to leave a like below and a comment and tell us how we're doing and say how bad this is, because it was so good. I hope the next campaign I do. No, it was, no, this is great. I didn't think it was going to end like that. You guys chose to end it like that. And we'll see <laughs> all of you... Around the campfire. See you, campers. Took Luther to a point of ego depletion. It's not my fault. <laughs>